Yo, cho boy, I everybody. Yard man, give me a back with a new video. If you're a build that has only a 92 ball handle or even below, a lot of these SIGs, as you see, this is the build I'm using in this gameplay right here before I show you guys the gameplay. This is my new and improved 6-4 slashing playmaker. But this time I have a way higher pass and a higher three pointer, which makes the build just overpowered. All I sacrificed was my 85 lateral quickness. And to be honest, on a build like this, you don't even need it. Um, with, with 75, you get clamp steel and it's more than good enough versus people that really don't know what they're doing. You need to have a lockdown on your team. It's a guard. Now that we have that away, these are the SIGs that I recommend you use on a build that needs to have guard like SIGs to get a bucket and run point guard, right? Darius Garland is going to be the best thing out there. And guess what? All you need is an 80 ball handle for it this year. Last year, you needed a high ball handle for Darius Garland Sigs, higher than usual. Definitely not an 80. The 80 is good. And the 80 is the, pretty much what this is, is your Steve Francis if you have below uh, uh, 95 ball handle. But don't worry, if you want the exact uh, Steve Francis style speed boost, not the behind the back, the speed boost. Jordan Poole's size up is coming out. Hopefully next season we get Halliburton or Devin Booker or Jordan Poole size ups and sigs because they're good. I thought D Rose would be good this year, but it's not as good. D Wade and Kemba Walker. D Wade is good for big guards. Kemba Walker and Trey Young, not as good. Definitely not as good as uh, the boost that you get with Garland. So go ahead with Garland. Giannis, same thing. And Darren Fox, same thing. Garland to me is the best one. If you want a speed boost with Kyrie Irving dribble style, I do get that Kyrie Irving dribble style. Now, Scoot Edison, I use this. I use these six right here. Kemba Walker escape combo moves. Kobe crossover, same as John Wall. So it's up to your preference. I like Kobe's now that I am able to use it. I'm going to use it because it requires more. So obviously there has to be some more cheese to it. Jamal Murray behind the back. Holly Burton behind the back. Going to be better than that. That's going to be the new meta, by the way. And I'm using Chris Paul step back instead of John Wall. If you don't notice, Chris Paul gives you 2K22 snatch back from next gen, pretty much. And obviously, I've been told you guys this in the beginning of the year when I was making six videos, Chris Paul, John Wall and Vince Carter and Jimmy Butler are all elite moving step backs. All right. So other than that, I'm using Terry's Halliburton's pass style. Yo, I'm glad I put this pass up because this is some cheese undefeated with this build right now we did lose a few games in the beginning of the season on my other one with a low pass but i i don't have a lot of games played this season unfortunately i have not been playing too much but don't worry about it there's some stuff i real anyways those are the six big up the self enjoy the video cho boy guan gvo family yardman gaming and we're back with a new video christmas is right around the corner this is a late night upload who remembers when yardman gaming uploaded two years straight at night time let me know if you've been a part of that journey you know that we're in a new journey right now it's okay 24 it's a whole different ball game man it's more realistic but you know what because it's so realistic yes i can come out here doing what i do on a small guard what you're gonna see me doing in stage and stuff like that playing made up but honestly i've been having more fun when me and the brothers them are just vibing out taking turns donning some boys right rather than me just dominating the ball all game every game which is fun don't get me wrong it is fun but in a game like this they built a game where you don't want to do that because it's going to hurt your team unless you're in your absolute best bag and don't get me wrong most of the times i'm in my best bag speaking of my best bag this build had me in one of my best bags ever this is the new and improved version of the slashing playmaker i dropped the video on how to make the slashing playmaker one for the two score and one for the three score this one is the threes court version, the high pass accuracy and everything, right? Love the build, man. I have no weaknesses. My defense, yes, you can look at it and say, okay, it's a weakness, but it's technically not a weakness for a small guard. A 6'4 build should not be able to stop people at the rim like I've been stopping people at the rim, holding my hands up, just holding hands up, no anchor, right? And also blocking people's jump shot on the perimeter and clamping them with clamps. Literally just clamping and playing guard and big. And don't forget about the dunking. That 90 dunk is special. The other one has a 92 dunk, but this 90 dunk is special when you mix it with bailout. Because now you, even though this game is predicated on not cheesing, 
no, this is some cheese. You're pretty much LeBron James. You have LeBron passing with legitimately LeBron's dunking. Because you get one leg contacts and two leg contacts. I didn't I did not make that same mistake that I made on the other build with this one. So you get one leg and two leg contact dunks. I showed you the build in the beginning of the video and I also dropped a build video on how to make the build. You get the best dribbling that you need and you get a higher Send three points than the last one. And I've been striping it with it. I think I only had two bad shooting games. And you know me, when I have a bad shooting game, it's because I'm literally just forcing fades, forcing fades. And I wanted to test the limits of this 86 three-pointer. And it's safe to say that I feel no difference between 86 and 94 three-pointer. So I'm going to keep it like this. I see this was the first game with the build. First game ever with the build. Even though it's a 92 overall, don't worry. I'm going to drop my badge method, my overall method to get y'all boys right that just got the game. All right, who are who is about to get the game now when it comes to the weaknesses of this build the only thing i would say is a weakness is the fact that it doesn't get a higher steal but to me that's really not a weakness that is preference that's preference at the end of the day you can't have everything this is not this is a thanos guard build but it's not like insane all infinity stones thanos it's like probably a few infinity stones they don't have all of them yet right you might have to find the rest of the infinity stone them but we're cool with this version of Thanos because the man still will shake a boy up. All right. Translation, the man will still dominate the poor youths them. <laughs> no, nah, I've been having a lot of fun with this build. If y'all want me to drop a dunk style, like the best dunk animations for a build that ISOs like this, if you have a 90 dunk or above, let me know. Probably just, uh, let me just say 90 dunk. All right. Because I only have a couple builds with above a 90, but I don't have anything that goes above a 95. 95 is the highest I've ever gone. And I know 96 give you that Hall of Fame posterizer, but trust me, that's all I have is that 95 and then 92. All right. You know what's crazy? I didn't even drop my real 6 4 play shot build for you guys with the high, high three ball and all that good stuff that I was literally shooting six for six from three with back to back to back, sometimes seven for seven. But I'd like to keep it pretty sometimes and leave it at that six for six. And that's how we do it. No, to end this video on a positive note, because I have a lot more gameplay with this build and I will be getting a lot more gameplay, probably even in the stage with this. This is an ISO build. You can use it with screens, but it's an ISO build. ISO build because it's way more fun to ISO with a build like this that can boom, dunk upon somebody and, get, and then guess what? Shoot the three ball easily and get one of the best passing styles in the game with Halliburton, if not the best. I can't complain, no. End the video off right. See a lot of people quitting. A lot of people saying, you know, I'm done. 2K community cooked. 2K community gone. 2K community washed out. I don't know when people are going to learn that. You can't kill the 2K community, bro. 2K community is never going to go anywhere. Why? It's the biggest sports game in the world. Let's just be real, man. Madden doesn't compete. FIFA don't even compete. And you know, FIFA... Soccer, I'm from Jamaica. Soccer is the biggest sport in the world, all right? It's not baseball, it's not It's not basketball, it's not American football, it's football, all right? AKA soccer. That is the biggest sport in the world. And it still doesn't even compete with NBA 2K, NBA 2K's basketball franchise. And it's the biggest sport. Like, there's so much more people that know what football is compared to basketball. And I'm talking about soccer. Yes, the game is not as fun as it used to be. And I'll be one of the first to tell you that I'm somebody that likes not realism, bro. I'm somebody that hates realism in a video game. I want it to be fun, cheesy, arcadic. I'm not talking about no NBA um, street ball or nothing like that. But just bring us, you know, bring us some, some fast paced movements, bro. We need to be able to move out of our speed boost faster. When I hit that speed boost, I need to be gone. Same thing for defense. When I run on defense, I need to be moving just as fast as them on offense. Like 2K16, right? Because I used to watch 2K16. You see right here, I'm just spamming. I'm having fun. Chris Paul's step back is so nasty. But back to what I was saying, I, I, I do not have Trey Young fade. So I, I you know, I, I angled it a little wrong. All right. But back to what I was saying, 2K is never going to die, man. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or something like that, don't let the views, don't let... The current state of 2K discourage you because I do believe 2K, this was the year they listened to the old heads that love sim play. And they're kind of seeing that the game has never been this low before Christmas, bro. Never. Ever. Usually it's end of January, beginning of February, you see the game start to fall off like this over the past few years. 
And you know what? 2K did their thing and listened to people that love sim style, realistic style gameplay. And it's just not helping anybody that is trying to do content and stuff because nobody wants to watch too much realism if you can just watch real life basketball. Now, obviously you wanna have some realism, but like the previous years where the game was a good balance between fun and realism. Let me know what y'all think. Big up on yourself.